Well, hey, Pipers, welcome back to the Bass Piper channel. Hey, guys, I just wanted to get on here today and um, tell you what I think about this uh, new uh, Savinelli Algonza 320 that I uh, got just a few weeks ago. Let me show you that pipe. Beautiful pipe by Savinelli. And in it, I'm smoking some Boswell's Sweet Dreams. And uh, this tobacco I picked up in June of 2019, so 2021, 22, uh, three years old. and just crack the uh, top on it. This Boswell Sweet Dreams, I uh, looked it up on Tobacco Review and it, it didn't get stellar reviews. It, you know, some, some of the guys were reviewing it, giving it a one or two, or they got some threes, but mainly two. And it's got a, more of a cherry, topping on it a Virginia Cavendish combination with some uh, cherry topping uh, but I tell you what if you like cherry give this a try Now, of course, I'm smoking this with a 6 millimeter Savinelli charcoal filter in my 320. But it's mild. But for a, a tobacco uh, being cherry, I'm not getting any of the medicine-y type of cherry or syrup type of it gives off a good smoke smokes well of course most everything from Boswell's the moisture content is always good and this is from three years ago in my a uh, ball jar sealed up. It has a good, good flavor to it. And uh, like I said, it's just, it's mild. So if you're looking for something heavy, this won't be for you, but for an aromatic, very good to and a good good breath note. Well, the other thing I wanted to come on here to say about the 320. I'm like Johnny Onion. I like the 320s. Um I've got about four, maybe. Uh, this this may be my f this may be my fourth one. Um, but I tell you, if you want to try a three twenty, but you don't like the fatter, you know, the short, stumpy little fat stems that are on them, give the Laganza a try. Because as you can see, that's not a fat stem. It's a beautiful pipe. But you have that 320 bowl shape. Sits good in your mouth when you clench it. Now, you wouldn't be able to go out and mow the grass with it, you know, it's not that light, but 
you can clinch it and uh, and talk. But this is my maiden voyage with this, and I kind of dedicated this pipe to cherry to cherry blends. I'm spilling my tobacco all over me. Cherry blends. Most likely, the only thing that I will have in this is the Sweet Dreams, and uh, Boswell also makes a black cherry that's really good. Petzl, uh, Petzl. Mm. Pennsylvania Dutch Tree is another one that Boswell has that's a cherry. Cherry, I believe the other one's Cherry Smash. Now, if you're a Burley lover, you'll like Pennsylvania Dutch Street. <laughs> I like it too. Uh, the, <laughs> this is the one that I tried back in 2018 when I was there in Pennsylvania. My wife and I were vacationing. And I went to the Chambers Bird uh, Boswell store and got some as a little sample. And uh, back it came, I picked out I think it's the one ounce or whatever it is you get when you when you buy a pipe from them. We've got a lot of comments on it, compliments. And the only the only problem is that was the tobacco that stayed with me for a day and a half with the burly taste in my mouth. If you remember, I uh, it's the only tobacco I know. I had to brush my teeth three times. I gargled with Listerine twice. Ate supper, ate breakfast the following morning, and by lunchtime the next day it was finally gone. <laughs> but uh, but it was good while you're smoking it, and it had a very very pleasant cherry. Man, I got compliments of that. I was sitting out in the hotel outside, and people that would walk by, they go, "Man, I like that." Even had one lady, I think I told you, that reminded her of her grandfather many, many years ago. But this sweet, uh, sweet dreams has a um, has a cherry topping, but not not strong. In fact, the black cherry is really good too. If you want to try cherry blends. Now, I know there's some guys that don't care for cherry blends. I don't know what, you know, the deal is with that. I guess you just don't like cherry, but uh, like some people, I guess, don't like chocolate. I don't know, but um, I like cherry. I've always liked cherry blends, and uh, of course, I always love those Christmas time, those chocolate-covered cherries. But this right here is a very nice blend. It's not hard on the palate. It's just one of those easy all day smokes. And uh, this 320, I, I wish Savinelli would make some more of the 320s with the night with the smaller stems on them. But I guess it wouldn't be their signature 320. But uh, very beautiful pipe, and um, by the way, I want to let you know that Eddie from the Pipe Nook also sent me back. He saw my second video, uh, and Eddie, thanks for watching, buddy. Um, and just to let you guys know, I, you remember I asked Eddie if it would be okay to smoke a few bowls. in my uh, Peterson and um, to see if I was going to like it. And uh, and uh, he sent back a message to me. Basically, I don't have it in front of me, so I, I can't say it word for word.
but he said, Wade, try it out. Smoke it a while. If you have any problem, send it back to me. I'll replace it. You can't get no better than that, guys. But I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it because I think I fixed the problem. But he said, if any, any, at any time, if something goes south with that pipe, let him know. He'll take care of it. So, Eddie, I appreciate that, buddy. I really do. And um, I had no doubt that uh, I've been watching your channel for several years and know your demeanor and your personality, your generosity, just what you did with matches. And the money and stuff that was spent on those pipes and people bought them, the money you gave to his wife and to help with funeral costs and other things that she might need. This is the type of community we have, folks, and this is what we need to hold on to no matter what whatever happens this youtube thing we got going on you know i know this has become a now let me say this too some of y'all are going over the rumble listen if you are a subscriber of mine on youtube hey bounce over to rumble if you would just take a quick second i'm under bass piper and subscribe to me over there if you would They don't call it subscriptions. They call it, I forgot what they call it. But anyway, just go over there and either hit the, you know, thing and subscribe. Um, I know some of y'all are having some problems trying to upload or trying to get your stuff to sync. It's not that hard, guys. Um, but then again, if you're like me, I'm not tech savvy. In fact, Corvette Jim, if you see this video, buddy, I saw yours last night. I sent a message to uh, Ethan, Parsimonious Piper. And uh, Ethan said he's going to put that on, on one of his list of priorities to try to do a video. He had mentioned that he was going to try to do one to show people how to sync stuff from the Google to the, I mean, to the YouTube Google account to the Rumble. And, um... Smarty Bob, uh, I almost called him Smarty Pants. Smarty Bob, Bob Piper, he, uh, I think, is having some problems, too. And uh, I know some of it can be aggravating. Don't give up on it, guys. Uh, we got to understand, too, you know, Rumble is a smaller platform. It's a smaller platform than YouTube. And, uh, of course, uh, you know, they're not as flamboyant as YouTube. But we are getting into a crossroads, and eventually I think, guys, we're going to have to make the move or at least go ahead and start syncing your stuff so that you can continue on YouTube. But if YouTube ever pulls the plug on us, then we're fine. We're good. Um, it's a smaller format. It's a smaller platform. Uh, like I said, not as big and that type of thing. But one day they will be if uh, YouTube keeps doing what they're doing and more people come on over. And, uh, and you know, guys, to be honest, uh, being Pipers, we're, we're no big thing for YouTube. And so uh, they really could care less whether we stay or go. I mean, we've got one Piper in the community that's, what, 67,000 subs? That's, that's Chris, Mutton Chop. We have a few more that might dangle around 15,000. Eight or 9,000. But the rest of us, man, you know, we're sitting about 1,000. 1,200, 1,500, maybe 2,000. 
We're small town. But we're a community. You know, if you're if you're wanting to get into the pipe community and try to get that big subscription rate to knock down about a three to four to five to six to eight thousand dollar a month paycheck from YouTube, you're in the wrong genre. You need to start doing product reviews, get into electronics, get into a little even some of these women get into these planners, you know, these uh, travel notebooks and stuff like that. Or some get into some kind of reality channel. I just buried a young man. He's in it. Well, I say young man. He's younger than me, but he was in his fifties a few months ago. He had a reality channel. One hundred sixty-seven thousand subscribers. Right beside his urn, he was cremated. We did a service. He had his YouTube 100,000 subscriber plaque. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he was bringing in about 10 grand a month off of YouTube. Plus being retired Navy and working a job. Two people were there, one from YouTube and one presenter, another big presenter from YouTube that they all knew him and liked him from his channel. And I talked to them about that and they said, well, the thing is you got to understand with YouTube, it's not about your subscribers, it's about your views. Now, of course, subscribers help. But to make the money and all of that stuff with YouTube and, and that kind of thing, you've got to have people viewing your stuff because that's what the companies want and that's what the advertisers want. You can have 5,000 subscribers, but if all you're getting is 500 views, you ain't hitting on nothing. You could have 3,000 subscribers and have 2,500 views at a time, then you're doing something. But um, it is what it is. In piping, we're in the wrong genre, especially if you want to look at monetizing, but that's another avenue. But uh, anyway, uh, look, don't give up on Rumble, guys. Some of you guys that are, that are having some problems. Um, I asked Ethan if he would try to do that. I know he had mentioned it. And uh, I know he'll graciously do it. Um, I would love to do it. I just don't know enough about all. I don't want to confuse you. Um, if I was in front of you with your computer, I could probably pop this, do that, do that. But um, he would probably be able to be more gifted to instruct you on what to do to help you. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, that's all we got. It's about 19 minutes. I mean, I'll tell you, it flies. I, I can't get on here. I feel like I say about 10 words and it time is up. But hey, just want to let you know about this pipe. Maiden Voyage, good pipe. The Elganza from Savinelli. It's a 320 model. Um, along with some Boswell Sweet Dreams. Try it if you've never had, guys. Good stuff. Hey, get you an ounce or two from them. And... Uh, it don't hurt if you don't like it, okay, but I think you will. If you like cherry and you don't like a lot of heavy stuff, uh, then it, this right here might be the thing for you. But anyway, guys, we'll talk with you later, and uh, remember to relax and have a pipe and reflect on the many blessings of God in your life. Hey, until next time, you guys take care. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.